Hello, it is I, Feeble Man. I have just gotten Fallout 4, and I have been waiting a couple of years to play this. Fallout 3 was simply amazing, Skyrim was simply amazing, yada yada yada. Fallout 4 is here, I couldn't wait to play. And away we go. Oh yeah, that just gives me chills even seeing that. So why slouching across the wastelands? Because I'm a casual player, and I have the attention span of a crack-addled hamster. So there will be no achievements, just War. me meandering. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. Definitely not animation. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay, that's a beautiful animation. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, oh, I want a car with things portable like that. computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. Uh. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. War never changes. Oh, yeah. All right, a great line. Glad to see that they're using it again. Homage to the earlier games. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, huh? Okay. You think? And I'm glad Absolutely. they're completely beating us over the head with stop it. Stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right. So, like I mentioned, I want to make a. Uh, I'm a casual gamer, and I want to make a character that sort of reflects my inability to ever actually achieve or accomplish anything. So in this series, there'll just be a lot of meandering around, trying to figure out what I'm doing, forgetting key mission stuff, and basically just blundering through the game. So yeah, if that sounds good, then let's get a guy that will look the part of that. No way. No. Hmm, not bad. Kind of, kind of a little bit too much badass. Yeah, I do not want an espresso, Mr. Barista Man. Here's a dollar for your guitar case. No. Eh. Wow, dopey. Not bad. Let's see. Oh, I like the broken nose, actually. Oh, and the Bushido top knot. That's great. But even that is a little too accomplished for me, so let's keep moving. No. 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 Is this the first guy? Yeah, it kind of looks like him. But it's not, I don't think. No. Interesting. Actually, it's not bad at all. Ah, back to our original guy. 
Oh, I don't look sad. I like the sad sack eyes and the gigantic nose, so we'll stick with that. But that hair's gotta go. I gotta find something a little bit. Let's see. Let's see, let's see with the body. Oh, okay, so let's see. Let's get a little slovenly, muscular, and large. No. Thin and large. No contradiction there at all. Just, there we go, a little bit portly, that'll do. So, too much time eating donuts and not enough time accomplishing things. Let's see. I guess those are preset faces, and this'll give me... Oh, very cool. Okay, cool. So you highlight an area, and then you can change it. So let's see. <laughs> All right, that is pretty awesome. So let's see. So yeah, I've clicked on his chin, and now I can just kind of move it around to do whatever I want. Kind of like that big moon chin. Yeah, moon face. It makes him look a little less threatening. Let's see. E to accept. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, let's change the style. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. I'm liking that. <laughs> He's got a bold spot on the very top. Kind of hard to see, but... Back to that. Yeah, right up here you can just see that he's got a little bald. The midlifer, that's great. On prey. Yeah, a little too serious. Looks like a Russian mobster. Uh, same effect. Oh. Oh yeah, comb over. That is freaking perfect. And it totally changes the way he looks. He looks like a complete sad sack now. Uh, creeper. <laughs> it's actually pretty aw awesome. Trailer smash. Wow, that is hideously cool. Got a little Nick Cage going on there. Oh, whoops. Uh, math teacher. Eh. No. 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 Interesting. It's not, it's not bad, but it makes him look a little too competent. I think I'm... Oh, yeah. I'll have to try that. Play the game as uh, Don Draper. These are pretty cool haircuts, and they look really good, too, to be honest. Oh, yuck. Oh my god. Alright, I'm liking the pompadour. Okay. Oh, there's the top knot again. Um, I think I'm just gonna go back to... The comb over was the one that did it for me. So let's do that. And there we go. Yeah. It just looks like a sad sack. So accept. Mm, this new haircut's really working for me. Uh, you keep telling yourself that. Uh, I think we're done. Yes. I don't know who the chick is, but whatever. Wife, I suppose. Girlfriend. Bang maid. Don't know. Alright, so looks like this is going to be taking place before the bombs fall. Ah, good morning, sir. Your right. coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brew to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Uh, Thanks, Kaiserworth. Thank you. Of course, sir. That's right. Which is why Oh, if only I could eat these. Oh, coffee. Oh, yeah. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Good old USA. I'm so proud of her. Like someone made a stick. 
I shall attend to young Shaw. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Yeah, I wanted to explore down that way, but not if there is a big stinky. Actually, what is he doing? Is he actually changing it? No, he's just hovering over it. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Uh, play with? Uh, all right, this is kind of an interesting take. Uh, one of the things that I really liked about Fallout now, 3. Don't you touch the laundry. <laughs> I'll take care of it. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. So like I was saying, one of the things I really liked about Fallout 3 was the way it eased you into the world by having you grow up in the vault before you were exiled out of it and your adventures start, yada yada. Oh, this is very cool. And so this is actually kind of cool in that it makes you feel like you're a part of the world before the bombs go off. So this is all very nifty, and I love seeing... Come on, just answer the door and he'll go away. Yeah, so I love seeing all this. It, like, really kind of brings you into the world. Good morning! vault -Tech calling! Uh, vault -Tech? vault -Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir and helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. All right, you are one morbid fuck. Uh, let's see. Urgency. Yeah, well, there's a lot of talk of war. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Mm, sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Now, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> now, uh, that is so see. what I wanted to say. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so let's see. Well, I am definitely going to be a ladies' man. I'm going to do five. So seven and 21 means really I could put three in each one. So five is going to be a little high. Let's go five in that. Agility. I want to be able to shoot stuff, but not as well as talk to people. Uh, perception's always important in Fallout. Uh, make sure I have twos. Uh, yeah, so maybe I can't do math. Three, six, seven times three is 21. Uh, okay. Oh, except that they all had one in them to begin with, so four would be the average. Me math good. All right, so four, let's make that a six. Do I want perception? Perception is good. I like. I actually like vats a lot, so I'm gonna make that a six, keep intelligence five, and we'll make agility. Ugh. Maybe I should reduce perception. Yeah, I wanna get threes and everything, so kind of well, oh crap. That's actually two luck is about right. 
Yeah, that works. Okay, so this is it. So as you can see, high charisma, highest charisma, and then intelligence perception. Agility, I tend to like to sneak around. Uh, strength, I don't really care about. Because I, I don't know, maybe I'll use some power weapon, power fist weapons. Uh, and endurance is hit points, so yeah, I think we're good. Uh, why can't I accept it? Uh, here we go. And Phoebes. And there we go. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hubba hubba. Hey, hon. Sean has been changed. Wow. Look at you. How a girl like me ever gets so lucky, huh? I think some <laughs> yeah. of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Hun. I'll be there in a minute. Go ahead. <sighs> All right, baby, play with. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Oh yeah, look at that. Who wouldn't want to go to the park with it? Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir, Mom, uh, you should come and see this. Huh? Codsworth, what's wrong? Oh, followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do. Oh, we no. do have. We do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Okay. Residents of Sanctuary Hill. Oh, let's hijack this. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault One. She's going that way. Everybody's running that way. I'm guessing I'm supposed to go that way. But really, I just want to kind of admire the neighborhood before it turns into a ball of fire. Uh, very cool little cul-de-sac. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. Brazil car. You are registered. Evacuate All right, right. to Vault 111 immediately. And there she is. Yes, this is quite a nice view. Oh, wait a second, look at this thing. Yeah, yeah. That is pure awesome. Hello. Excuse me. Vault participants, this way! Head down to the bridge! The vault is up the hill! Alright, fine. Waypoint shown down below. If you're in the program, waypoint. step forward. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. We're gonna die. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Pretty badass. Good luck, ma'am. You can come get us all. Excuse me. Head to the elevator. 
Right. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Oh, that is gorgeous. Coming down for a landing too. That is beautiful. Step on the platform in the center. I guess if I had this to. way. Pretty cool. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. Uh, I can't move. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah! Hold on! That was fantastic. And we are about to be irradiated. Oh god! Just a little bit of sunburn there. I think several million to PF Factor sunscreen couldn't handle. Yes, I'm mobile again. Huh? Everyone, please mm -hmm. step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an hey, orderly fashion. That was a nuke. No need to worry, a folks. Goddamn nuke. We'll get everyone situated it was. in your and new It was home. rendered beautifully. One eleven. A better oh. future yeah. underground. So we're, we're all just... radiated. Yes, up the hey there. stairs. I can't believe. What? What? We What's left going on? A minute later. No, no we don't. Be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Yes, yeah, sir. Everyone, I would like to say I really do admire your mustache. It is a work of art. Excuse me. Up the stairs. Hey, head inside. Just up the stairs there. Please, head up the stairs. Got a lot to do to get you oriented. Nora. Oh. is here for you. Welcome. All new residents, please proceed in an orderly fashion. Welcome. These textures are absolutely gorgeous. Now, that is where it's going to be sealed up. Mail. Oh, yeah. Take a vault suit, then head down the hall. Uh, hello. Hey there. Hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. You are creepy. I hope not. Female. One vault suit. Now just head down the hall. More radiation can't hurt. The table. Yeah, looks fine. Each of you take one of these. Your brand new vault suits. It's uh, down the hallway right thanks. there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. All right, lead on. See, this is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I love the texture of that paint over the uh, bolts and things. That is fantastic. Oh, this is great. I know, geeking out over totally stupid little textures, but man, it is Gone. beautiful. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh god, honey, what if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time, but vault Tech will be with you every step of the way. You'll thrive here. We've Did you have any everything. family outside the city? Oh god. Oh god. Hey. We'll never Please. see them again. These people need some space. Oh, so sorry. Uh, uh, don't know what all that sciencey stuff is, but it sure looks pretty damn badass. Didn't need to bring any luggage? Excuse me. Clothes, sir. God, can you believe it? First thing I miss are my damn suits. How, how long Move do you along. think we'll be down here? Excuse me. Oh, we'll Nothing be going over here. all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit. Just Please checking everyone the off the list as they come in. Hey, nice it's haircut. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Hey there. Oh, close call, huh? And to think I thought building the vault in the neighborhood was a bad idea. Hmm. 
Hey there. Just follow your guide. He'll get you all situated. Hey. Yes, we're some of the lucky ones, right? Whew. <laughs> Hey there. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Step into the chamber whenever you're ready. Shh. Uh, be okay. Really? Daddy's right here. See? Honey, could you help me? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Well, all right, decontamination pod, eh? Let's do it. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, uh, four, three. Yeah, that's not a decontamination two, chamber. One. All right. So, in 200 years, when I get thawed out, I'm gonna have some ass to be kicking. For a Boris with a long scar on the left side of his face. I have a feeling we shall meet again. You know, it's too bad about her. I didn't really feel much of a bond to her or the child, so. Eh. <coughs> This is where the game begins. Yeah, so once again, gorgeous textures. I mean, just amazing. Um, the game starts here. One last look at my dead wife. You see the little bullet hole right Yeah. And uh, I will avenge her in this life or one of the many next ones. Because I have a feeling I will be dying a lot in this game. And on that note, I am going to go ahead and bid you all farewell. And hope to see you again in episode 2 of Slouching Across the Wastelands. This has been Feebleman. Good night.